What's going on, Doombots? Tony Skinjili here with the next logical progression in this series. We're going to talk about gear. Very specifically, we're going to talk about costume gear. Now, um, there's a lot of confusion about what costumes are in this game. They're like, whoa, are they skins? Are they, uh, you know, uh, just cosmetic? And the answer is yes kind of so in general there's a lot of different types of gear costumes themselves are more akin to gear in like world of warcraft or diablo uh the actual items themselves the costumes or the pieces are the gear it's the item you're wearing that's overall improving the quality of your character it has stats the appearances of your costume something entirely different so we've already talked a little bit in a previous video but just to show you directly uh this is an example of an item a gear piece of item and if you track here you can see the major difference this is the xanderth mask that's the item class it is it's part of the set that creates centurion parker you can track right here the set becomes stronger with higher set levels We'll get into that in a second. And this set gives me a uh, attack bonus if I'm having two pieces on, dodge rate with three, and uh, spider combat class skill level by two if I'm using a four-piece set. Now, obviously, the more of these I have on, the more set I have, the more the bonus becomes. They becomes level three, level four, all the way up to the highest possible level, assuming the gear uh, is scaled up. Now, every item... As you can see, slightly different. But every mask of Noir, uh, even though it might look different, is fundamentally the exact same thing. The head slot, or the first slot, uh, tends to be an attack piece with the opportunity to roll attack-type abilities. Crit rate, crit um, chance, crit damage, debuff accuracy, guard damage, uh actual attack again so the the head or the first piece of item on any character is going to be the most offensive piece that character can have and different characters have different uh priorities obviously attack is good on everybody because it's raw damage but some characters make better use out of guard break or out of crit than others uh as you run through the different types of costumes you'll see that while this is the end of the earth mask at one star uh, it doesn't really have much going for it. It's not a very strong piece of gear. In order to make it stronger, as we've said before, you go ahead and you take similar items of the same class, so one-star items, go to the costume enhancer, as we saw in the previous video, I'll link it above, and throw all the extra pieces into it. Now, you're going to get a lot of these costume pieces as you play through the game. They basically give them away for dailies and, and completing small tasks, as well as as you're leveling up. Um, knowing which ones are important, not as big of a deal as some people might think. Like, don't be afraid. Uh, if they're shining, those you should probably pay attention to. Outside of anything that's got this nice little gloss around it, you really don't have to worry too much about it. What you do have to pay attention to is that this piece, the color scheme of this, is completely randomized. So the fact that this happens to be pink doesn't mean it's better or worse than this piece that has nothing to do with anything all you have to track for this is the overarching color around it or the star level they basically mean the same thing for the conversation um and a lot of that is more of a uh, ability for you to just recognize immediately whether something is good so this item shows you it rolled debuff accuracy and attack in theory if i don't like those rolls i can just take the other costume upgrade it and hopefully get better rolls of abilities uh, on the costume, whatever that works out to. And it kind of goes the same way across every board as you get more and more pieces from different types. You'll see it works the same way. Uh, the other thing, as we go on, you'll see, the second piece, it, depending on who you are, it's usually called the chest piece, but could be anything. For Doctor Strange, it's quite literally his entire costume. Uh, same thing, this te technically is an attack piece. It has more impactful uh, attack-driven damage. And this set, the all-new, all-different suit, 
gives very similar two and three piece set bonuses are dodge rate the four piece set instead of saying class skill like you see with this item it just says skill that is a huge difference and i need you to know that now because it's going to save you a lot of time in the future uh your skills are your abilities you know as you use them uh all of your skills have a title and i'll show you what i'm talking about right here these are all your skills this is spider sense combat the under name right that's the version of this skill you're using so right now i'm using binding kick i could go ahead and use the launch kick that just lets you keep track of what you're doing but this is the name of the skill so if i'm using an attack that or a set that says boost your spider bola it's going to treat the spider bola as if it's level plus two 12 plus three 13 and uh since the level cap on all of your skills is level 15 it's the only way to get to level 20 on a lot of skills now as we said before the other pieces the regional gear gives bonuses to class skills class skills are right here where it says class spider combat or whatever your character is this one class web shooters as you look at the other abilities that give a bonus to something this will give all abilities in this class that you're using plus five so if i have an ability that gives spider swing plus two that means this specific attack will go from 11 to that's right 13 but if i had class spider skill plus two spider combat plus two it would be spider swing and spider sense combat and spider bola these are the regional pieces you're going to hear a lot about and we're going to go a little bit more into them in a couple of seconds but i just wanted you to see what the class skill bonuses mean to you now let's go back to these look through the the character setups now we've already discussed white or gray gear is basically garbage green is slightly better than garbage blue and purples are where you're gonna start getting the most value out of your character basically uh blue and purple items are are where you're going to start seeing a little bit of a nice boost uh that's going to be the most value you have but always remember it's the stats that matter more than any of these bonuses in the absolute perfect world all of your items will give you the stats you want on the character and be all part of the same set since you really don't have much control over that don't worry about that as you're starting to play the game really the best thing you can do for itemization especially when it comes to costumes because costumes are always gear think your world of warcrafts or diablos why do you do your weekly raids why do you do your your rifts in diablo why do you keep farming things it's so you can get a better chance at something that kind of thing so those are the reaches as you can see my spider-man is currently running a two-piece regional set right now and obviously what you can't see on this character is that there are two other tiers of gear after purple yellow or legendary gear is five star and then red or we'll call it mythic gear for now is six star gear that's pretty much the hierarchy of setup so as you're building your character out do not think you have to wait until you get these i was incredibly fortunate and spent a lot of money in the entire game to get just the second piece of gear for this character let alone any additional pieces i might need on them i would have been just as fine utilizing any of the abilities that give me a boost whether it be to a four set boost or anything else uh on an attack that i use on every build something you should pay attention to as you're playing through is which attacks do you think like this is just the best attack i have those are the sets you want to kind of focus on as you go through for this case if I thought I was going to use webcraft a lot, I would make sure that the Scarlet Spider costume was the items that I was leveling. I made sure I could roll them up because just in case the four piece set bonus probably would be enough of a value add to my character uh, with the stats. Not often is it a really good math problem for you. Like, don't worry about is this better than this? You'll know. Worst case scenario, just test them out. Go to a blitz like a level 
60 or 70 blitz once you're at max level you know something you can easily beat and see which one takes faster like how fast can you kill a boss or something like that this is ways you can test to see if your build is working the correct way there's no ttk or time to kill dummy in the game yet so you just gotta fight a boss you kind of know a couple times get a feel for it that's majority of itemization now different characters are different uh but what you're gonna notice immediately is tony this doesn't look anything like what your spider-man does yes because now we have the other part of costumes which is the cosmetic aspect as we've said the more costumes you collect the more different ap appearances you get these are all the spider punk appearances i've accrued the superior spider-man they all have their names right here if you want to try to complete the sets or go a little bit matching you can do that right here they all say the names here uh and these are just all of the basic items I've come across as we've played through. Uh, I could change any part of my costume. Sometimes you want to have them all look very similarly. Sometimes you want to make them kind of pop out a little bit. This is kind of what I like to call the true end game of, of Marvel Future Revolution, Marvel Fashion Revolution. This is where you could start like taking those garbage pieces you keep getting after you feel really comfortable with your gear set. And then you upgrade them on the chance that whenever you upgrade, they re-roll a different appearance for you. Here you can click see all just to see ones you're missing. So, wow, I really like these boots. Or I'll tell you right now, the one I'm looking on for Spider-Man the most is this one. Uh, so every time opportunity I have, I re-roll a Scarlet Spider on the off chance it gives me this cool costume this is my personal preference you might have your own ones that you like that's completely up to you they have completed themes here for you to just save obviously you have your standard issue spider-man and you can mix and match anything along the lines that you want uh in addition you could save your favorite loadouts to make sure that he just ends up looking the way he does. Now, if you don't like anything, you just cancel it. It goes back to what you were doing before. I happen to like the full Scarlet Spider purple and green costume right now. I can go ahead, save this right to my favorites, and then I could feel free to change things around without having to hunt it down. Once you unlock a costume, it doesn't matter if you have it anymore or not, you've unlocked the set. The only exception is if you end up deleting a character, you will right now lose all of these saved pieces until you rediscover them again so that's just something to know as far as itemization is concerned but generally speaking you don't really itemize how your character looks until you feel comfortable with their build strategy that's pretty much everything i could talk about uh regarding costumes or gear in this game just again i cannot stress this enough while you're going to hear even me but everybody talk about how regional gear is the absolute best and you can see the regional gear piece gives just a little bit more attack percentage and attack gives a little bit higher stat rolls than i mean this is a lower piece but comparably it's it just is a better piece overall but they're so hard to come by and they take so much effort and rng i can't even control if i get this piece so many people will be trying for we'll say the xanderth gear set on spider-man uh and might get another helmet another headpiece or slot one whatever you want to call it uh, that's got to be a nightmare right because yeah it might have some better roles but you're trying to complete sets not get multiple so this is there's no control over it it's completely random you're just gonna have to trust that the gear pieces you have like this all new all different set that i'm using is reasonable enough to give me a two or three piece set bonus as i move on and without having to show much let me just take a real quick second and show off storm so storm super cool right you can see i have quite a bit of options with storm i even have another version of the hydra the regional piece i'm setting on for her right now so i can have two pieces of hydra and then a two-piece set of 80s but when i look at them comparatively debuff accuracy and attack is worth so much more on the way i'm playing storm right now 
that the triple crit damage roll on this isn't going to be worth much. Now, one-to-one -one comparison, this is a regular gear piece. It just happens to be the 80s set, which is one of the sets I like the most for Storm. 550 attack versus 600. 14% versus 15.4. Clearly, at, you know, all things equal, regional gear is superior in numbers. That said, your characters are built to do very specific things. So, raw stats after a while aren't going to make much of a difference. I know for a fact that I'm getting more out of the, my three-piece bonus with debuff accuracy and attack than I would be with two completely different sets giving me slightly more attack than I'd get otherwise. But on the other side, why am I using this item instead of the four-piece bonus for Weather Witch? Well, that's actually incredibly easy. This item has rolled attack, crit rate, and accuracy rate, and all of these vastly outscale what my 80s gear so far has. So this is kind of the fun thing about the itemization. It's going to be a little bit of a problem, but it's something that you can dive into and explore as you play what parts of the gear will make you stronger. Uh, as you can see, I've upgraded a good portion of my gear on Storm, to legendary or five star but nothing quite to six yet there's a lot of reasons the cost of upgrading a six star is the same as every other thing it's five of the same tier so to get five five stars and bring them up i need to be a hundred percent sure that this item is already so good that whatever it rolls at the end is great there is one last thing about that when you end up with a six star gear piece uh you can put an additional six star of any type into it to completely reroll your stats. That said, unless you're just spending money and getting a ton of six star pieces through RNG, because you can't even pull them from gotcha, you know, from the, the hero costume draws, the best you can get are these. Uh, it's, it's maybe just better to keep that separate six item for a different set. It's really hard to, to justify rerolling sets because they change all the time. That's pretty much everything I have to say regarding gear uh, or custom gear on characters and itemization and choosing your different loadouts and how you want your character to look. That's going to be up to you to play, but hopefully this helped took a little bit of the confusion out of what costumes are in this game. They're just gear. Don't worry. You're not paying for cosmetics that change your character. You're paying for gear. The cosmetics are just a happy little bonus at the end whatever you consider paying for anyway. So anyway, if you have any questions about gear, not specific to characters, just in general, leave them below. We'll get more into character gear and itemization when we do character videos. Anyway, have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangili, and I will catch you later.